Hi there, again, Liz Story here, your tax advisor and accountant. Uh, real quick, uh, as I promised you, we're gonna be uh, doing a series of different, um, uh, series of the, all the stimulus packages um, for the coronavirus that uh, the US government has um, tried to provide to all, um, you know, Americans um, in this relief of this um, health crisis that we are, we're going through. Um, so today uh, I want to discuss about a very important topic and that is the two main loans. And I say the main loans because there's different types of credits and deductions um, that they have been already created. However, there's others that are probably going to come along, I think, you know, in a later, in a later date. Um, but right now, the two main ones that I want really small business owners, because I'm a small business owner myself, and I think it's important that we all try our very best uh, to stay afloat and survive this crisis as much as we can. We have in the American you know, government support. Now it's up to us with those funds to be able to utilize it and it really apply it and reinvest it back into the economy of the U.S. that way we can keep, you know, rolling the money and, and, and making sure that we keep our employees and our staff and also keep up with other expenses, operating expenses that we all have, right? I might have different expenses versus to you, um, but we all have expenses. So we want to make sure we generate income and we have those expenses covered. Now, for a lot of you out there, I want to start that I know that if you are in the retail industry, you've probably been one of the hardest industries really got hit really really hard and I'm so sorry for that I truly am um, I know the most brick-and-mortar uh, you know companies um, not only they have unfortunately let go of a lot of employees but also their revenue have you know rock bottom and it's very difficult for all of you out there and hopefully some of you might be able to survive because um, you had enough cushion uh, to make it through these times. But anyhow, the good news out of all the terrible news that we all live in because I'm in the same boat you are, uh, as it is, I live here in the United States and the state of Florida and we were one of the states uh, that actually got hit the hardest besides New York and California. Um, and who knows how many other states as the numbers are still increasing. Uh, just recently, uh, and I don't mean to go off the topic here, but um, again, it's a reality that we live in. Um, and we're grateful, uh, well, I'm grateful that I'm still here alive, being able to share this information with all of you, is the fact that uh, we already have reached, I think, as of today, a million um, uh, cases of um, infected, you know, people with the virus, and just in the United States, I think our numbers have reached over 5,600 deaths already, um, and who knows how many other numbers uh, will increase. I'm hoping that it's not the case, and I'm praying uh, that somehow I do believe in the power of prayer, um, that something can change in this virus. Uh, it seems like it's in the peak right now for at least here in the U.S., Numbers are declining in China already, they're declining in Italy, and I'm so happy for them. And I hope that we can be optimistic and we can look forward to seeing those numbers drop. But anyhow, let me jump into uh, what's most important to you besides obviously our health right now, um, but it's also financially. So let's, let's really touch base on the two main important topics. And this is the two loans that all business owners are trying to, uh, you know, go in and apply because it's very important. By the way, there's a deadline. First, they say it was going to be July. Now, I think they have extended as far as I can see through uh, my note that has been December 31st of 2020. So this still ample time for you to apply. However, I don't recommend you for you to wait. Um, obviously, we all in a financial hardship right now. Um, so. The sooner, the better, and I'm going to repeat this, the sooner, the better. Remember that right now, um, all these loans are bombarded by people applying, and, uh, and, and there's fundings, but it's not unlimited. So, you know, realize that, I mean, there's, we have over 30 millions of small businesses just in the U.S. soil. Um, 
and you know eventually that money is going to dry up um there's so much that you know the government can give before they go into bankruptcy so we have to realize that that's why it's important that the people who are applying is because they know they're eligible that they really need the funds and that they need that extra finance support to make it through this tough time okay so with that said i'm going to uh just start with uh one of the main uh uh, loans that uh, has been effective as of April actually 3rd. Okay, they started opening the enrollments for the applications on April 3rd, and that's what you probably have been hearing is called the PPP, three big P's, right? And that is really the Paycheck Protection Plan. Again, the double P's. Um, this really all this is stimulus of money that we're getting from the government is because obviously they don't want our country to collapse um, because if we completely stop paying our staff and we start spending money and operating expenses to maintain our businesses right and pay utilities and pay rent and mortgage what's going to happen uh, then we're going to go on a flat line in this country and that will be chaotic um, and I think the you know one of the worst things we've seen at least in in, in the U.S. country is back in World War One, World War Two, uh, we had this similar situation. Um, and since then, uh, governments understand that we as small business we're able to provide these type of employments to the rest of the, the the people because governments don't have sufficient jobs for all of us so as a small business they want to take care of us okay so it's important that we try to not only survive health wise but also to expand and and, and, and be able to expand uh, you know our businesses now more than ever uh, you know people need us People need us as a business um, to be able to continue moving forward, even if uh, you know we have our own personal uh, and emotional issues as we are all struggling through this process. So, anyhow, I just want to share a little bit of that with you. But the PPP again is going to be open as of April the third. Um, as far as I heard, it might be a little bit more. Um, and I have already reviewed some of those applications, by the way, um, a little more extensive um, than the EIDL loan, which is the economic injury disaster that you probably have been hearing a lot more than the PPP. Now, the PPP has been really more created towards for uh, paychecks and, and maintaining employment, right? Because again, because we as a small business are the ones that hire uh, so many independent contractors and also employees, they need to make sure that we stay afloat. So if you are a company with less than 500 employees and you have a minimum of one employee, meaning that you could have been you could be right now a an s corporation right an s corporation you have to pay yourself as an owner of the company you have to pay yourself a salary so you not only are the owner of the of the corporation but you're also an employee of the company so if that's your situation as far as i've been able to research they are allowing now anyone as of even one employee before it used to be two i think now it's only just one and i say i think because things are changing so rapidly that today I could be recording this and tomorrow something has change so I want you to understand that um, that there are changes as, as I'm recording and trying to keep up all, all the different things that are happening but as far as I know as long as you have one employee you are eligible and under 500 employees to apply for the PPP now they have set aside over 349 billion dollars just for this alone that's right billion dollars now for you, the maximum that you can qualify is up to $10 million, okay? And the way it works, I'm gonna to try to describe it as simple as possible, and I just wanna go through my notes because again, I, as, as I stated in the rest of the, my uh, coronavirus series, by the way, if you haven't seen them, there's been a few other ones prior to this one, and each one of it really touches different topic, and I think it's important, so let me just go ahead and go through here, through some of my notes, 
um, just to make sure. Anyhow, one of the first thing is with the PPP, the purpose behind uh, the CARES Act, right, that is described as the Coronavirus Act Relief and Economic Security CARES Act, is to help, again, employers maintain their employees and the economy moving forward, okay? And as tough as things as might seem right now, they could be a lot tougher and it could get a lot worse if the government have not got involved. Um, if some of you might recall in 2008, the government helped the big boys, I call them, right? Uh, and that was all the big corporation, all the big financial institutions, and pretty much they forgot us, the small business. Well, this time, I'm very happy to see that they really took the proper steps to really take care of us because at the end, we're the ones who are employing the majority of the people in this country. With that said, let's jump in. So PPP, up to 10 million, under 500 employees, you could be one employee. So yes, you can apply. So if you happens to be that you are uh, an S corporation, it's only one employee, you still can apply. Now the main purpose behind this is that you use the funds, okay, once approved, you use the funds to cover for your own payroll, that's right, even if you're only one person, you can apply for yourself and cover your payroll. And also, by all means, you can hire other people. That would be great, you know. But two, you can pay your mortgage or your rent, all right? That way you can keep your doors open for your business. You can pay utilities, right? You have electricity, you have phone, you have internet. They want to make sure and for other operating costs. Now, other, it's kind of broad, um, they haven't really specified what that falls into. So this is what I'm suggesting uh, to some of my clients as I'm helping them in the process because remember, this is a loan. So they are gonna require a lot of the commentation. Prepare yourself for that. So if you're not up to date with your books, this is the time where you wanna invest and go back and start reconciling your accounts, make sure your p and it's, it, it's, it's in balance, your balance sheet, everything has been properly done. And if you don't, because for whatever situation, seek the help of others, uh, they can really help you, another bookkeeper, data entry, whoever it is, as long as they have knowledge and experience and know how to do this, because that's important. We wanna make sure that your financial statements are correct, right? Um, otherwise, you're gonna be finding a loan that, that might be rejected or when you find in a return, it's not appropriate information. So make sure you hire somebody. If you need help, yes, you can come to us or like I said, you can hire your own bookkeepers on the side, but make sure that those financials are correct because eventually they will request information. Now they're making this streamline very easy to apply. Most of these things can be done online. That's correct. The PPP can be done online and or you can go to the bank as long as your branch is open because again, due to the coronavirus, a lot of, a lot of uh, banks and credit unions had to pretty much shut down their brick and mortar also offices or they're doing by appointments only. Now, if I were you, again, keeping distance, keeping security, I think it's a lot better. Um, again, we're hoping that none of us have the virus but if we do and it hasn't been exposed why put anyone else in risk or put ourselves in risk so if we can do everything online which now we can that's the beauty of technology just go ahead and take advantage so yes the ppp can be done online um go ahead and apply remember this is being used primarily really for your payroll okay so you this is what i'm suggesting to some of my clients apply for the ppp can give you up to $10 million. Does that mean, are you gonna be approved 100%? Is there a guarantee? No, and there is no guarantee in none of these credits or, or loans, by the way. Obviously, they're gonna look at, what factors are they gonna look at? Well, number one, your FICO score, because remember, no matter what, your score does matter a lot in everything that we do. It's not until you establish your business credit, which is two separate things, that always financial institutions are gonna look at CU FICO score. Obviously, if you have over 700, that's gonna be super because it's gonna help you. So you might wanna take the time now to go back and uh, run your credit report. And if you see anything, this is a discrepancy, by all means, get it fixed 
really, uh, before they run your credit. I mean, that's my suggestion, honestly. And, and, and another thing is, um, if you have like small amounts of different credit cards, maybe you can get one balance and pay off those credit cards that only have one balance. See what I'm saying? Those are little things that might help you uh, get your loan approved, and especially to the maximum amount that you can. Because remember, if you have that cushion in your, in your business checking account, you're going to be able to continue uh, running your business. Even if you're brick and mortar, now maybe you learn how to do online. Uh, again, this is a new era. We, we, I think that after this crisis, a lot of businesses are gonna learn that. An example, I've been in business now for 11 years. That's right, since 2009. And I always operated in the cloud. Yes, I've been a virtual business. Even though I'm an accountant, I'm a tax advisor, and I, have, I hire other people. You know, everyone has been having the flexibility to work from home. I always allow that. And I have worked from my comfort of my home office. Um, again, I think things are going to change. But yes, apply for the PPP. Uh, worst scenario, you might get denied. But at least you apply. But again, there's small little things that you can do. Make sure that your credit report is up to date. If you cannot afford to run your credit through your um, you know, personal creditkarma.com, I'm sure you heard of them, free. Okay, it's a great time to do it now. You can monitor your credit also, but I will still apply. Even if your credit is by, I will still apply, but in the meantime, still working on it, okay? That's very, very important because you want to get rid of any discrepancy that you might have that maybe you don't even realize, and this could be affecting even your future loans, okay? So um, other than that, I also want to tell you that you are qualified. By the way, you qualify to also apply to the second loan. Just because you apply for one doesn't mean that you're prohibited from applying for the other one. You can apply to both loans. That's right. So if you still want to do what is called the economic injury disaster, the EID loan, you still can apply for that one too. The only difference is if you get what everybody or what everyone is saying out there um, about the special 10,000 free money, let me clarify what that is. That is a grant. Yes, that's right. It is a grant. They're not going to tell you that, but that's what it is. It is $10,000 that supposedly when three days after you apply, if you get approved, they deposit that money into your business checking account. Now, this in three days, honestly, I think it's gonna take probably maybe a couple weeks. Uh, again, because they're getting so much bombardment by so many people applying, that it's very difficult for them to um, deal with the volume of you know all these applications. Okay, now they've had talk about the EIDL. It's a lot, I think, more simple and a little bit less demanding. And what I mean by that, again, remember these are loans. Now this one you can also do online. All right, just Google it, EIDL loans. And this was directly with the Small Business Administration, SBA, okay? Now, with this one, the beauty is it's less amount. The maximum that you may qualify is $2 million. I know it doesn't sound much, but hey, if I can take $2 million, I would take it. <laughs> so hopefully, as a, as a bit, mini, me, medium business that you might be, I'm a small business, but maybe you're a medium business, meaning that you're generating you know, more than maybe, you know, a couple million dollars a year already, you might be eligible to get the maximum, which is the $2 million. The nice thing about this is that whether you get approved or denied, it doesn't matter. You're still getting those $10,000. Yeah, you hear me that. Mm -hmm. That's correct. You still get, even if you're denied, you still qualify for those $10,000. Now, who qualifies? Again, you have to be a small business. And when I say a small business, you could be a partnership, you could be an S Corp, you could be a C Corp, you could be a non for profit. And guess what? You could be a sole proprietor. That's right. You could be an independent contractor. That's right. So, it doesn't mean that you have to have an EI number, implementification number. You can have your own social security and still apply to this. Again, I don't think this is going to last for too long, okay? And that's the bad news because they're saying that this one you can apply until the end of July, um, September 30th. They just changed the date recently. Um, 
Now, I don't think that they have sufficient. And why I say that I don't think they have sufficient, it's because when you do the numbers, you can do simple math. And that is that if they, supposedly they have only, uh, I think, $10 billion on that fund account, and we have 30 million, and then you divide that, probably the most people that are going to be able to get those ten thousand dollars are going to probably be maybe one million of business owners that's right business small businesses maybe about one million okay so that means that that grant money is drying up so i tell people please jump in and apply the actual online application is quite simple by the way it's two pages Okay, and right on the second page, you actually can put there your business checking account and the name of, the, of your bank and your routing number. Yes, they're going to require you. What was your gross income prior to this crisis, which is really, I think, considered January 30th or up to February 15th. How much revenue did you make from 12 months prior to the crisis? Again, some people say the cutoff dates by February 15th. So whatever you made prior to February last year to February of this year, 2020, that's the amount that you should be putting, okay? Look, I, I think we all need to have our books in order. Obviously I do as an accountant, but I know a lot of small business, unfortunately they don't. A lot of you don't like dealing with this headache, as you call it, um, but it's, it's necessary, especially now, anytime you apply for a loan. So again, seek help, get someone to update your books properly, okay? Uh, you don't want someone to inflate your numbers just because you wanna get the loan, you want to do the right thing, okay? Because remember, they can always go back and review your loan application, and if those numbers are incorrect or inflated, you can get yourself in trouble. I don't want that for you, okay? So again, make sure that your books are in order, reconcile, and then once you have those numbers, at least you can put for now, for the application, for now, don't waste time, like I say, apply, look at your numbers. If you don't have everything reconciled yet, at least have an estimation. Look at your balance in your bank account, your credit cards, how much you spend during the last 12 months, and then put that number at least in the application, because eventually they're gonna come back and they're gonna ask you, hey, prove to us, how much you have made and where is your financial statement and maybe by the time they come back and request this documentation you're already prepared because you already had time to clean up your books and have your PL and perhaps even your balance sheet if you do run a crew basis like um, you do your accounts payable and receivable if your cash basis is a lot more simple for you Okay, but at least have your PL in order for those 12 months because eventually they will require you to give them more accurate numbers um, for the approval of the loan. Again, the 10,000 is something separate. Even if you get denied, you might get that money. And I say you might because it's drying out. It really is. It's running out. Uh, I don't want you to come back and make a comment and say, oh, you know, you promise. I'm not promising anything. The money's still there. As far as I have heard, it's only been right now, I think since they opened it up, and that was, I think, in January, uh, 20, March 23rd is when they started the EIDL uh, loan. However, they changed it. That's right. They changed it a few days ago, where now it's only a two simple form. It's application with two pages only, okay? Um, before, they used to allow you to upload all the documents, which it was a lot better in my own personal opinion because you were able to provide them with extra documentation like your tax returns and you know um, uh, your personal finance. Of course, they're going to ask you for that. What you know, what collateral? How much collateral do you have? Uh, you know, do you have outstanding loans in other places? So it's like a regular loan, just that it's being expedited. Again, the the EID E I D loan. It's easier to apply, and that's the one that's providing the ten thousand grant. Okay, now who qualifies? You don't have to be an employee, you could be zero, you could be a sole proprietor, you could be an independent contractor. So don't worry about that. You can put your social security and apply, but apply before it's too late. Okay, other than that, the main purpose is that they want you to use the funds in the first eight weeks. 
if you use the funds, then it's forgiven, meaning that if you use it for payroll, you use it for, again, utilities, to pay your mortgage, to pay your rent, then that will be forgiven. So let me give you an example. Let's say that you get approved. Okay, I'm just going to throw a number out there. Let's say that you get approved for, I don't know, half a million dollars. Okay, let's say even less for a quarter, two fifty, two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and your payroll bi monthly runs, let's say, roughly twenty five thousand dollars. Okay, so in eight first eight weeks, that means it's about two months. Okay, so automatically right there, $100,000 go to payroll, right? So 25,000 times four, right? Which it would be actually four payrolls that you can run in eight weeks, right? Then that's right there automatically, that amount. Now that could be forgiven. That's right, the actual amount, not, not, don't even worry about the interest. The amount can be forgiven because the interest on this loan is incredibly low. The maximum they're going to charge you in interest is 4%. There's no upfront fees, by the way. There's no uh, documentation fees. Everything is directly with SBA. That's where you apply the SBA. Now, make sure that when you apply, you get the confirmation ID number. Okay? I, I know that the servers are bombarded. People are taking hours to be able to submit this application online. So, be patient and keep insisting, that's my recommendation, keep insisting, okay? Different hours, different days a week, whatever it takes, make sure that you print you know, your, your paperwork, that you have everything ready, because if it means that you have to redo it and redo it, keep doing it until you're successful to transmit your application, okay? Again, I have to emphasize this, I don't know how many times, but the 10,000 grand, it's very limited, okay? And, the beauty is that you don't have to repay it. So let me go through some of the things here that I have in my notes. Again, if you haven't watched my other series that I have created just for the stimulus coronavirus um, loans, and, and by the way, a lot of tax deductions and breaks that we're going to get as business owners too, I will try my very best to uh, you know, respond to your questions or comments. Um, you can connect with me through all social media accounts. Um, look me up Liz Soria um, and like I said I mean uh, Twitter you know LinkedIn Facebook um, I have a podcast too um, the tax advisor biz coach says podcast um, so I've been around as they say the blog for more than 11 years right now um, so I'm not a, a new business um, I've been like I said been through a lot of bumpy roads myself to ups and downs and uh, but as far as I see here like I said um, they're really allowing, um, I don't know what they mean by tribal small businesses, but I guess that's a specific type of business. They're allowing that. Uh, uh, um, they have sole proprietors, like I said, even without employees. So don't limit yourself because you say, oh, well, I don't have employees. I'm not paying myself. Don't still apply for the EIDL, okay? Um, other than that, right now, I think that's probably what I can leave you with. Um, like I said, don't don't waste time. Honestly, time is very precious as we now understand it more than ever. I have always told my clients, and you could probably look at my old videos, and a lot of this information, even including with the most recent, um, in December 2018, when Trump came out with all the updates of tax laws. Uh, and one of the things I tell people is that money can always be replenished, folks. Money can always be replenished, but not time. Time is precious, and this is why I'm doing this and completely free to all of you um, because I want to make sure that the public, not only small businesses, but individuals understand that there's a lot of uh, misconception and information running around, you know, in the internet and social media accounts and everybody's blah, 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 and a lot of people don't even know what they're talking about. They don't have you know, financial background, they're really not understanding what's going on. So please get the right sources. I know there's other uh, CPAs and accountants out there like me that's providing this really great information. Come to people like us that we're trying to really give you the valid information, um, not the rumors or the stuff going on or people think that this might be it or who knows. No, what, what the government is really uh, stating is what we are transmitting you as a message. That way you have a clear understanding of what's happening, okay? So the good news, like I said, is that right now, 
Um, if you apply and you get approved, um, they might, like I said, they're gonna come back. If you do get approved for the loan, they're gonna come back and ask you for additional documents. Whether you do the PPP or whether you do the EID, either way, you might have a few weeks, maybe 30 days, 60 days. Of, I, I don't know the time frame, but I know that it bombarded, that's for sure. So you got that time to clean up your books and make sure your financials are in order. Like I said, check your credit report. Um, see what else you can do, anything that you can do to improve because a 4% maximum interest, I don't know where else you can get it more affordable than that. And with new upfront fees, SBA, did you know that they charge an average of three to 5%? That's right, it's called origination fees. They're waiving that. So folks, again, it's so important, please, don't waste time. Uh, I know that we are all concerned with what's going on and, and you probably have some people, family members, uh, they might be ill and I'm sorry, but the reality is that the only way we're gonna be able to survive and, 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 and give back to this country as they're giving us right now the opportunity to financially flourish is to do and take action and, and do the proper steps. So again, don't give up just because your application doesn't go through the first time, second time, third time, fourth. How many times might take? Keep pushing, okay? Keep insisting, keep applying until you get that submission, okay? And like I said, in the meantime, you have that time frame to fix your books and make sure that everything is in order, okay? If you need help, I'm here along with my team to help you. If not, hire someone, like I said, contract someone that knows, look, there's plenty of people out there unemployed right now, help them. You know, hire people that have the experience, the knowledge, and, and, and the skills uh, to run your QuickBooks or whatever program you're using, but make sure that everything's in balance. That way, when they come and say, okay, we want to know these numbers, you're ready for them. And that way you prevent any delays for that loan to be completely, you know, approved, okay? So, it is with my best intentions. I'm gonna do another series of different videos. The next one I wanna talk about, and, and besides these loans, by the way, we might be coming up with a lot of new stuff, is these other ones that I'm gonna go through, through my notes um, as I'm actually still recording this. And, and like I said, we have right now also other small credits and deductions for small businesses. And like I said, I'm gonna to touch base because I don't want you to have all this information to digest. Right now, this video was about the PPP and like I said, the EIDL. But this one is about the employee retention tax credit. Yes, that's a separate thing. We have something that's called the deferral of employer payroll tax payment. That's something else. We have another that's called the net operating loss, excessive business loss. Okay, um, that's something else. We have business interest deduction. And finally, there's a lot of family leave um, that you can cover your employers the same way um, if there was a layoff temporarily, you're gonna have some credits for those kind of things. So again, folks, stay tuned, uh, comment, like, share. Again, I provide all this free information upfront to really just bring a little bit of more clarity to all of you out there, and away from the noise that you, we hear in the bad news and all these things that is happening on right now I, I, as I'm recording this, um, also from my home office, uh, and just sharing vital information. But again, take action. Don't 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 wait, uh, and be persistent in submitting that those applications. Okay, uh, if you do need help as you get uh, the request coming back uh, from SBA or from your bank directly, uh, requesting this information, we're here to help. So um, definitely, uh, you know, consider us. Um, and, and, and it will help my staff to, to be able to, you know, uh, maintain their jobs too and be able to help you clarify your books and make sure that the order that we get that approved, okay? So anyhow, um, like I said, in the next video, we in the next episode, we're going to create just about other additional credits and deductions that are very uh, uncommon for, for a lot of businesses they're not aware of. Um, so I hope this helps. And like I said, stay in touch with us. Um, I, I'm trying my best to keep up with maybe any comments or uh, you know uh, questions that you might have. Please understand, uh, I am limited staff right now. I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can. So um, questions brief. Um, like I said, uh, we do complimentary consultations, by the way. But other than that, please replay the videos, listen to it. 
learn as much as you can. And like I said, take action. That's the most. And please, uh, beyond everything, stay healthy. Uh, we're all here to help each other. And uh, may God bless you, okay? Take care of yourself until the next video. Bye-bye. Hey, and don't forget to share our comments and also our videos and audios. Thank you. Bye-bye.